Hi guys, it's Kristen. I'm back with more information from our Lord Jesus. And I have a lot of important information to share with you. Um, so I guess you see on the screen, it's a huge wave. I thought it appropriate for this time right now. But I love the verse. So it is um, Proverbs 27 verse 19. As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. And Jesus judges us by our heart. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that happened that I had given. And I can't remember as to what videos those were in, really. But some of them are probably in the title. And then I keep getting this song over and over and over. Um, what's it called? Kokomo, I believe. It uh, gives all the tropical places. It you guys can look up the words, but um, it says something about taking me down to um, Aruba, Jamaica, uh, Montego, Kokomo, Bahamas, Caribbean, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, I think, and also Key Largo, most of the Florida Keys. So I'm supposing he's giving me that song in my head. Actually, I didn't want to sing it for you all, but it keeps playing the whole song in my head. Um, and I think it's for a warning for these places, possibly for a huge wave because of the Canary Islands. Um, it seems that the, all those locations in this song would be parts of the, um, the world map that would be hit if... Um, a big chunk fell into the ocean. And I also asked him for confirmation on that. And I got so many times break off, um, break up, slide again. And so many confirmations. Probably five after I asked him for confirmation on it. I probably got at least five different confirmations in the form of numbers. Um, for me to yes, tell it that it's confirmation of it. So if you're, and I think I said last time, if you guys were on the, on the East Coast anywhere, but I believe it'll be the West Coast of Africa that's hit, and the East Coast of the United States, and the East Coast of most of these islands that I mentioned. So if you're um, on the East Coast of the islands, please uh, consider leaving there. Now I don't know when this will happen because... I mean, it could be at any time. This volcano's already been going off for a week, I think. And it could be now, but it could be, you know, a week or two from now. I don't really know. So, um, you know, I guess that's a rough decision, especially if you're staying where you're at, you know, for a job or your, your home, your kids have school or whatever the case may be. But if I was on the coast, I would come inland. I wouldn't really care about a, a job, money, or whatever. And so I just want to warn you that if you don't do that, I think you're going to have a few hours to leave. But keep your car full of gas. Keep it uh, everything packed that you would need to leave at least. At the very least, you know, be ready to go at any time. I guess that would be the smart thing to do if you're not going to leave now. And then several other things happened that I have given. And so I wanted to give you guys those. I got... A huge confirmation or actually it's a revelation from God earlier on the evil mother I gave it one time and I said I think he's giving me Eve and then several people were like no 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 she's good but really we don't know that because it doesn't say anything about her in the Bible after Genesis and the, the fact is I keep seeing the angel come to pick me up and he said come on come on come on we gotta go mom's coming and I got revelation earlier that it is Eve. So I really don't know, you know, any other details other than that. But he kept, he kept giving me um, breath, um, also likeness, um, image, and alone. And the reason she's so dangerous is because she is made in God's very image. In his likeness she has, she's just very power, powerful. So... Um, if you want to pray on that, take it to him in prayer. See what he gives you. Because I've been getting this for months and months and months. Actually, probably years of, um, right now. And I also, when I looked it up, um, I kept kept getting uh, alone, alone, alone. I thought, what's he giving me alone for? I don't understand. And then um, when I looked up Eve, 
um, they were telling this whole story about how um, how Adam was alone, and they were like, why would God think it was bad for Adam to be alone, blah, blah, blah. And I think it was uh, solely for um, numbers to to procreate. But also so that he wasn't alone. But it had alone written great big and bold print. And I knew then why I had been getting that. So it was crazy. He gives me great revelation and confirmation on things. Sometimes it'll be written in bold print. You know, sometimes even in red. Right, right in front of my face where I can't even uh, miss it. And I guess he, he knew I was never going to get this unless he did it that way. It's hilarious. But also I got revelation on... Almond Joy's got nuts, mounds, don't. So not just, he was giving me a double meaning. It's not just mounds, which are on the Canary Islands and on the seafloor around the Canary Islands. So there are mounds there, and they're going to have a lot of volcanic activity in the um, deep sea floor. But also, we're going to have a huge almond shortage, and that's going to happen now. Um, Also, rice shortage and meat. And then... Um, but he didn't give me all those at the same time. I just kept getting the almonds right now. But I know that I've gotten also rice and meat before. And so we're going to have many food shortages. But those three are going to happen now. Along with a chocolate shortage as well. And I also got warnings for the Caribbean. Um, so I, I uh, found these pictures. They're beautiful. I always wanted to go. But I haven't yet. And... Um, he just keeps saying warn the Caribbean, Caribbean. So I have to warn again on that. And then also shipping. So there's um, going to be both shipping delays uh, with, you know, goods that are coming into the country. And also um, many delays on um, container ships. But I believe a lot of them are going to sink. I keep getting uh, warned about ships uh, sinking, also sailors um, will die. And I think it may be this wave that's going to happen from um, this part of the island breaking off. I also got the word island several times in numbers. And there's crazy numbers that were complete confirmation on what he's giving me. And I just don't know how that happens every time. It's amazing. But... Um, I got all that. I got Florida Keys and what else? Um, several verses to give you from him. Oh, okay. So also in Montana was a train derailment. And I gave train several times. I think three times in the past uh, few videos. And I took a screenshot on those videos so I could show you. But um, this was an Amtrak derailment that happened in Montana. I think it was yesterday. And at least 50 hurt and three killed. So that was the last count as I read it. Um, it may have went up. I don't know. And then also I keep getting Sandman. Sandman. So there was an Operation Sandman here. It shows it as a movie. But also there is an actual Operation Sandman. It has something to do with the Petro Dollar. And I believe Mike from around the world said something about the Sandman is... Um, what do he say? Um, I should have went back and listened to him because now I can't even remember his exact words. But I think um, a couple Thursdays ago on Pastor Paul, he said something about the Sandman is walking or something. And I did not know what Sandman means, but um, I kept getting Sandman from the Lord. Um, And then I saw where Steve Quell mentioned that it's Operation Sandman. It's something about the petrodollar um, is going to go bust. So I wanted to give you guys that as well. And speaking of it, if anyone can help me out, I'm in a bad spot right now. So I could really appreciate it. Um, I'll put my PayPal in the description. And also, I'll try to link the Cash App. I always forget that part. But if you need a Bible, please email me at watchwoman 4 at gmail. You're going to need a hard copy of the Bible. So if you're reading your Bible online, just email me. I'll send you one free of charge with a bookmark. And I'll get that out hopefully right away so that um, you can have it. I just don't know when these things are going to pop off. But I know something big is on the horizon. And I think it is these islands. I'm not quite sure. So, And I don't have dates. I'm sorry. I never get dates, guys. I I don't even get a time frame usually. I mean, once in a while, give me a date. 
but I usually only get a day, like, I keep getting uh, both Manic Monday and also Bloody Sunday, but I don't know what month or year, so I just know that things are, I don't know, I also saw asteroids hit on a Friday. So I know what days and things, or I do have a month for, let me tell you this dream I forgot to tell you guys about. So I had a dream that um, these uh, asteroids were just falling. They were just boom, 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 you know. And I don't know why, but um, that song from Guns N' Roses, it was uh, November Rain, kept playing in the stream over and over. And there's something else important about this dream I'm trying to think of. But anyway, yeah. November rain was playing. The asteroids were falling. And I'm trying to find the rest of this dream, guys. Um, yeah, I said, oh, I know what. The Lord spoke to me in this dream. It was crazy. And said, um, are you ready to shine from the inside out? So that was crazy. And then... Um, you can't believe how many space rocks were hitting the Earth. I also had a dream of a real, real, real big comet. And I guess, um, as, uh, I think it said astronomers, yep, found this huge comet. It's bigger than any they've ever found, and that was like a week or so ago. None of this is ever on the mainstream media. So if I didn't get it on... Um, you know, the internet. I'd never even know half the things that I've given have um, been fulfilled yet. And then what else uh, was important that I gave you guys? Um, other things that happened. A, a train crash in Montana happened, so that's been fulfilled. Also, I gave Greece last video as a something going to happen there, and a 6.0 earthquake hit there today. Ostro, I gave you guys the comments that they found that's bigger than any ever. And then, oh, a shooting in Tennessee. I gave a warning for Tennessee and Memphis. And this was in a Kroger near Memphis. And then also acid rain. I've given that. And it's falling, I guess, in Europe. I'm not sure where. Somewhere near the Canary Islands are receiving acid rain. And then, um, I said, dream I didn't share. Oh, that's the one I just gave you. And I wanted to give you a couple of these numbers, guys. I don't want to make this too long. I was actually trying to make it short and then come back on with another video. But I wanted to also be sure that you all knew that I finally got revelation on the evil mom. And also on these, he keeps singing this to me, this, uh, Kokomo song about all these tropical islands which has me a bit nervous i do have friends in bermuda and also in a couple of the other caribbean places um a couple of good friends in the caribbean actually i'm sorry i've got the hiccups i always do it seems like if i talk too much i get them <laughs> but you get the hiccups with kidney troubles and i'm having a lot of health concerns right now and also, I can't wait till he comes to get us and heals us and changes to 144. So when I had this dream and he asked me if I was ready to shine from the inside out, I was ecstatic. And then I also got that verse from him that says, um, you are, it's Matthew 5, I think 14. It says, you are the light of the world, a, a um, city on a hill cannot be hidden something like that and yes i got that from the lord jesus and then i got this number greek 630 um release uh put away send away set at liberty dismiss uh depart um so that's great and i also keep getting that one song i think it's it played on the guardians of the galaxy i've never watched that movie but my um sons have and it's that song um escape so, if you want to look up the words to it, I'm not, I don't really think he's giving me the words to this song. He was mostly showing me the title of it, but I keep hearing that song. And then also I got Greek 2334. Oh, earlier I got 2332, and I got Revelation on that, because that number means Eve. And I kept getting that number over and over and over, and I couldn't figure out why, because I didn't really know that Eve meant anything in particular. And then I realized that's why I've gotten in every single, I've gotten it probably while awake at least 10 or 20 times. I've gotten in a couple dreams. 
And it's just been very prominent for like three years. I kept thinking, why is he giving me that number again? I'm not sure what it means because I'm really not seeing anything significant in the Hebrew or Greek versions. And now I know why. But anyway, also, uh, Greek 2334, Behold, look, see, consider, perceive, um, to be a spectator. And then I also got a uh, Greek 5461, um, give light. There's the word light again. Give light, bring to light, lighten, enlighten, light, illuminate, make to see, um, to shed rays, brighten up. And I received this over and over and over. Also, uh, Greek 2343, lay up treasure, store up treasure, um, to gather up. And so... Also, I keep getting the word heap, and hmm, I was saying there was another one on there I keep getting, but I don't know. I'll have to take a look again later. Also, I told you guys I keep getting the word image, likeness, alone, and um, breathe life into, and breathe. Um, I also got Greek 5181, engraving, or um, express image, or copy. Again, so there's image again made in his very image and then Greek 5500 appoint choose ordain um, So that's great. And then also Greek 5419 and this one is to um, Declare basically he's always telling me to speak say foretell declare also Hebrew 858 bring or come and then also, 2335, a spectacle or sight. And I've told you guys in the last video that he's going to give us a sign. And it's going to be undeniable. Um, I think it was the last one or the time before that. But anyway, I keep getting miracle, sign, a sign will come, a sign. And then I keep getting a spectacle. So he's going to give us a huge sign. Um, and I don't know. You know how many places around the world will see it but I know that a sign is coming so look for that and then also I got confirmation on that I believe it was Barbara that put it on her channel that her husband had dreamed of a sign coming oh and in one of my husband's dreams were fulfilled he had a dream of um, filling up fire extinguishers and water always with 110 gallons and when you see I-10 in the south it, it looks kind of like 110 but the other day there was a huge explosion, and I think it was in, um, I don't know, Lake Charles, I think. And there was a, um explosion on the I-10 bridge, and the whole thing was just inflamed. Like, these flames are huge. And so I told him, your dream came to pass. And then last night he also dreamed of the number 1200, also the number 80. But he said he had a dream where these um, this guy was selling a motorcycle and we're going to buy it for 1200 and it was a 1980s motorcycle. And then he said not long later we're going to buy a van that was a 1980s. It was also 1200 So then he knew to look up, or he kept saying it's an, it's an 80s version, it's an 80s model. That's how come I kept looking up the number 80 for him. But 1200 means fire. 80 means uh, dust particles in the air, so I've given, I've given both of those. I keep seeing motorcycles in my dreams. Also, one time I was driving a van, and then there was something else about his dream that he told me, and I can't really remember what it was at the moment, but I'll try to write it down for the next video. It's just amazing how God works. He's showing him the very same things he's showing me, and it's awesome confirmation that it's not our own minds. Half the dreams I have, if... You know, he's not sitting right here when I wake up, which is typically he's right here when I wake up. But if he's not, I don't really give him my dreams or it takes me sometimes a while to think of all the details and I should, I still don't share. I just write them down. And so it's amazing that sometimes things I don't even tell him he'll dream about as well. And then, like I said, on this, I got Hebrew 5500 uh, away, sweep away. And then also, um, I told you guys about... People who took the V are going to have strokes and heart attacks. And then I got um, Hebrew 405, a load, but also um, the word stroke. And that's nuts because that's more confirmation on that. So I also keep getting circles or also circle roundabout. Also what comes around goes around. So we know that 
Um, he keeps giving me that. I believe that that's going to happen quicker than normal. Every time someone's mean to someone else, uh, they're going to get their payback much quicker than before. And I, I also keep getting circle or circles over and over and over. So this is getting pretty long, and I wanted to keep it short, so I'll be back on, guys. I have so much information to share with you. I can probably make 10 videos. And I wanted to also give you, you things that have came to pass and also new information as well. So it seems to, it seems like I don't get very much in a 20 minute video. But I'll be back on um, in the next day or two with more of this information that um, Jesus has given me. And like I said, I'll put all my information in the description for if you need a Bible and if anyone can help me out at the moment and also I'll put my um, post office box if you have any cards or letters if I'm not answering your comment or if I just hit the heart on your comment that means I can see it but I can't reply and I can even reply this is crazy on other people's um, channels I was trying to actually comment on a couple channels I went back to check to see if anyone replied and the comment was gone so it's crazy, not only is my my channel being shadow banned and also uh, messed with, but I can't even reply on other people's channels so that, that me and people might see my comment. That irritates them too, so they just erase it. And I'm thinking, what in the world is even going on? This is nuts. I really don't know. It's crazy. So if you have something important to ask me or to let me know, and I'm not replying to you, please just email me at watchwomanforjesus at gmail. Um, the same with needing a Bible. And I'll put all that in the description, hopefully in the comments section, in case you can't access um, my description box. That wouldn't surprise me in the least. But I'll be back on as soon as possible, guys. I hope you're all well. I'm praying for you each and every night. And please pray for me and my family as well. Um, I'll talk to you all later. Love you all. Shalom.